Alright guys, today we are going to do the carburetor and fuel lines on a Windjammer gas bicycle. Um, I'll put the, uh, the carburetor that you need in the uh, description below. Uh, see if I can find a few lines, put them in the description below. Anything you need for this job, I'll put in the description below for you. Alright, so first thing we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we're going to uh, unbolt this gas tank. We've got to get the old fuel out of this thing. It's got rotten fuel in it. So uh, two 10 millimeters should do it. Now that i got the gas tank free, I'm going to go ahead and get the carburetor off. That way I can just take the carburetor fuel lines gas tank right up on my table and, and work on it a little more comfortably. So uh, we're going to take a flat header Phillips head, take the air filter cover off. Now we got two Phillips head uh, screws here and here. Take that, get the air filter assembly off. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and just pull this throttle arm here and we can kind of force that cable out. Lift it right up out of the way, and that's out of there just like that. All right, so now we're gonna take uh, cut this zip tie off, take the whole thing up to my table. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this grommet out. Oh, not with that one. With a flathead screwdriver, just get it kind of underneath it, and then pry. It. You'll have to pry it up. It'll take two hands. Okay, now that I got that out. I can go ahead and drain the old stinky gas out of this. Take these fuel lines are out the bottom of this carburetor. Cut them off because we're replacing them, no big deal. All right, gonna pull this screen spring off. It all comes in a kit. I'm trying to rip open the bag now. Um, this is for a Shindiawa weed eater, I believe. Yeah, M261 string trimmer, Shindiawa. But it's the same carburetor. Uh, so the difference though is this grommet here has two holes, and the ones that come usually in the kit have three holes. So we're going to pull out the fuel line system and see what grommet this one is. Hopefully this one has the big grommet on it that will fit in this. And then there's a vent that, you know, goes in the third hole on this. So we'll see if we can hook that up. So yeah, it comes with the big one. Um, see, it's got this vent. We're going to take the other two lines out because they're way too short. I'll put in the description longer lines that you can get. That'll actually, you can you can do this with. All right, so let me get this all out, all the rest of this on back. So this kit comes with a filter also that is much too large to fit in that. So the fuel line kit that I get you, I'll make sure it's got a couple of filters. I'll put that in the description as well. Um, comes with a couple of spare primer balls. And this little pink guy here is a one-way valve that actually goes underneath the primer ball. Just a little extra stuff and a brand new gasket. So most everything you need is in there except for the fuel lines and a filter that will actually fit. You know, this one will actually fit in the hole. So I'll put all that in the description as well. That way you got all the parts. Super, way cheaper than going through the manufacturer. And, uh, you know, they work. So, all right. Let me uh, pull these fuel lines out of this grommet then. The, uh, you know what? I'm not I'm gonna. I pulled this down. I was thinking that'd be better, but that's gonna be hitting against the machine. I'm gonna pull that back out and leave it long. Kit that I'll be giving you. I have fuel lines, filter. Sometimes they come with a uh, you know a couple filters and a spark plug or two or whatever. I'll see what I can find for you. All right, so we're gonna grab one of these fuel lines. You'll see that these are a little bit longer than the original. So not a big deal. We're just gonna go ahead and freaking do our thing. Um, we can always cut it down size once we get it remounted to that. Um, so we're gonna push this through one of these spare holes here. Pull it out about seven, eight inches. And then uh, we're gonna put the filter on the end of it like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and shove this next yellow line through the uh, last open hole in there. And we're only gonna pull through a couple inches. That way it's much longer at the bottom. We know the long one is the return line. The shorter one is the one with the filter on it. Go ahead and feed the spring back through, the two lines back through the spring, all the way down. Then we're gonna go ahead and stab this into the tank. Okay, I need two hands for this. Oh yeah, there we go. The grommet shoved 
partially in there as good as we can and then we'll just work our way around it from one end to the other with a flathead screwdriver okay now we got all this done up we're gonna go ahead and uh, re-bolt this to the the frame okay so the nipples here the bottom one the big one is the one that goes to the filter which is the short the short line remember the long line is return which goes to the little nipple which is this one right here temporary hook up the fuel filter one the short one just so the spring doesn't fall off on me while I'm hooking this up now I'm gonna go ahead and mount the carburetor we're gonna take the air filter assembly um, the flat side goes down like that we're gonna put it through the carburetor I'm ahead of myself let's hook up this throttle cable first get it pulled over get it laid in there and then it clicks right into place. Now we're going to take the air filter assembly, flat side down, and stab it into the carburetor. This gasket on with the holes, the little holes on the gasket towards the primer ball, and then mount it to the engine. Now the line we hooked up is the one with the fuel filter. It's on the right side. We're going to disconnect that. We're going to cut it off, and then put this up higher so that it's let, a little more, less slack on this we don't want it hanging down here where it can get caught by something then we're going to cut off the extra on this and stab it onto that line just like that that's all hooked up now we just got this guy here i'm going to get a zip tie and just uh zip it tie it off to the other line so it doesn't get uh injured uh, air filter out, put it right back where it belongs. We're going to go ahead and put the air filter cover back on. Goes this way, right? Yeah, goes this way. And then screw it down with a filter or flathead. Make sure you got all the lines hooked up. Let me get the right angle on this. We're going to go ahead and prime it up. Let's see if I can get to where you can see it. Where are we? Right there. Yep, there goes the fuel, and it's in the primer ball now. Perfect. Then it's going to take a few hands, so all the way up for choke. And then uh, we're going to give her a little bit of throttle. Maybe. Ooh, throttle cable's frozen on this guy's stuff. I'm going to have to fix that, too. Uh, and then we're going to fire it up. Let me see if I can get it running. And I can't throttle up, it needs a new throttle cable. So I gotta order one of them. I guess that'll be another video. But I can uh, do a little bit of throttle with my finger. Alright, guys, this helps you in any way, shape, or form. It's helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Um, all the parts I'll have in, in the description below. Today's t-shirt will also be in the description below. If you want me to wear some business shirts for you, mail me some. Be happy to do a little bit of advertising. Peace.